Passive Voice, Chapter 11, from Understanding and use, Using English Grammar, Martha Hall and Betty Azar. Wind Energy. The earliest known use of wind power was the sailboat, and from this technology, windmills were invented. The first windmills were developed in Persia in 500-900 AD. They were used for pumping water and grinding grain. In the 13th and 14th centuries, the first mills in Western Europe were used for irrigation, grain grinding, and saw milling of timber. In the 19th century, when the steam engine was invented, the use of wind power declined in Europe. But thousands of miles to the west, in the U.S., the next phase of wind power was being developed. Windmills were used by cowboys and farmers to provide water for livestock and families. And in the late 19th century, they were used by scientists to generate electricity. The first windmills were developed in Persia in 500-900 AD. We're not going to use the by phrase when the person who did the action is not known or is not important. So who exactly developed the windmills? People, but we don't know who exactly. Is it important to know who? No, it's not important, so away goes the by people. We don't need it. The first windmills were developed in Persia in 500 to 900 AD. So we don't use a by phase phrase when the person who did the action is not known or not important. We do use the by phrase, meaning by plus the agent, for important, interesting information. And in the late 19th century, windmills were used by scientists to generate electricity. Here we are saying exactly who used the windmills. Who used the windmills? Scientists. Is it important or interesting to know who? In this situation, yes. So we will use by scientists. Remember, the scientists are doing the action. Complete the sentences with the verbs in parentheses. Some sentences are passive and some are active. I will give you a few moments to try to complete the activities yourself. Number one, at first, wind power was used on sailing ships. Number two, the earliest wind power, windmills pumped water and milled grain, the active voice. Number three, the first windmills were developed in Persia and China. Number four. Later, windmills served many purposes in Europe. Complete these sentences with the verbs in parentheses. Some are passive and some are active. I will give you a few moments to do the exercise yourself. Number five, the use of windmills declined in Europe in the 19th century when the steam engine was invented. Declined is in the active voice 
was invented is in the passive voice. Number six. In the western United States, windmills were used by cowboys and farmers to provide water for their horses and cattle. Here is a picture of windmills as they are used today. In the 20th century, electricity was mainly generated from fossil fuels such as oil and coal. However, because of the high cost of fossil fuels, research into wind power and other forms of renewable energy, which is energy that gets replenished by natural sources, was continued. Today, many windmills are located in Spain. In fact, the remote hills of Spain are dotted with tall, graceful windmills. Nuclear power and coal have been replaced as the country's most efficient source of energy. By 2010, 30% of the electricity in Spain will come from renewable energy. Currently, the Nueva region of Spain generates 70% of its electricity from renewable energy sources and 100% will soon be provided. By 2010, wind could be used to supply half of the energy supplied by renewable energy. Could or should wind power and other renewable energies be developed more extensively in other countries? What do you think? Use the passive form of a modal to express a possibility or advisability. Possibility. By 2010, wind could be used to supply half of the energy supplied by renewable energy. By 2010, it is possible for wind to supply half of the renewable energy. Possibility could and advisability should. Could or should wind power and other renewable energies be developed more extensively in other countries? Is it possible to develop wind power? Is it a good idea to develop wind power? Could gives us the example of possibility and should gives us advisability. Is it a good thing to do? Use a non-progressive passive to describe an action that happened earlier. Today in Europe, the greatest number of windmills are located in Germany. When were the windmills built? Sometime earlier in the past. Use a non-progressive passive when the past participle functions as an adjective. The remote hills of Spain are dotted with tall, graceful windmills. Use get with a past participle to give the idea of becoming or changing. Renewable energy is energy that gets replenished by natural sources. What is the change? Oil and coal can't be replenished. New sources such as wind and solar power can be replenished. Complete the sentences with a passive form of the given verb. I will give you a few moments to try to complete this yourself. Number one, fossil fuels are located in the ground. Renewable fuels can be found in many different places. Number two, the government said that windmills are going to be built along the coast over the next two years. 
number three. As wind power becomes more popular, some hills in Spain are being covered with windmills. Number four. Many scientists think fossil fuels could be replaced by renewable energy in the near future. Electricity from windmills and other forms of renewable energy is getting popular in many countries. Change the active sentences to passive. Number one, active. A hundred years ago, most people heated their homes with wood or coal. To make this passive, we will say a hundred years ago, we're going to move the object into the subject position, most homes, and then add the verb to be plus the past participle, were heated with wood or coal. We don't need the agent by people because people, it's obvious and it's known. Number two, active. Today, more and more people are using renewable energy sources such as wind or solar. Passive. Today, renewable energy sources such as wind or solar are being used by more and more people. In the second sentence, we will use the agent by more and more people because we want to express the idea that the number of people are increasing. It's not just that it's by people, but by more and more people. Number three, do you think we should explore alternative forms of energy? Passive, do you think alternative forms of energy should be explored? And now for the bonus question. Number four, how can we make a difference in our energy usage now and how we live our everyday lives? Find the object and move it to the subject position. How can a difference in our energy usage be made now in how we live our everyday lives? A difference is now our subject. Our modal verb is can be made, but the can as the helping verb comes before the subject a difference. The end.